Welcome back to the third live stream portfolio roasting session. Today, we are going to be looking at the portfolios that you, my chat, have submitted and ranking them based on three different categories. First off, we have hireability. If I looked at your site in 10 to 20 seconds, would I be able to get a good idea of who you are as a developer? Something more than just a resume would give me. Next, we have aesthetic. Does the site look good? Is it responsive? Does it overwhelm me with a bunch of weird animations that don't have to be there? Or is it nice, simple, and modern? And finally, how creative is this? Is this just another template site that anyone could have made or is this something that makes me be like wow this looks like he put a lot of work into it it's unique i haven't seen any portfolio sites like this before based on these three categories you will get an overall score and at the end of the stream we will be awarding a chat favorite of the day and a streamer favorite of the day just to give you a reminder this was the site that was voted as the streamer favorite and the chat favorite of the day last time it is quite amazing Let's see if anyone today can live up to it and another notable mention from last stream this guy also tied for a streamer favorite of the day. Okay. I like the simplicity already. What does this button do? Oh, God. This is a whole interactive experience. Can I type? Oh, shit. How do I run it? Dot slash plasma dot exe. Yo, how do I, how do I run this? Start? Plasma dot exe. Hey, yo. Okay. How do I stop this? Oh, God. I'm stuck. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. How do I stop this? Oh God. Start about that TXT? I see. Um, I don't know if a recruiter is looking at that, but as a developer, that's pretty fucking cool. I also don't like, I, I don't like the, like all of this, like aspiring software developer, remove aspiring, have software developer, remove deep passion, pretty much any buzzword that you would see on a normal, like any, any like buzzwords that I have to like banner blind skip past, remove that. Give me back a one cent a two sentence summary of all this info that makes it more likely for someone to hire me don't use any buzzwords just simple fast and easy to read let's see what we got i've been coding since 12 billion blah, blah blah okay yes i would take this paste that there get rid of this section have project section experience error 404 not found okay that's kind of cute but Overall, for creativity and style, I like it. I like this. This is cool. This little hover thing. It doesn't detract from anything because I'd like normally read it. Um, this links to your GitHub. Last year. Okay, this one was updated more frequently, even though it says the year was later. It's kind of confusing. Kind of hard to read this once I hover over it. Uh, cool animations, though. And then we have, I would put honestly, like these links, I would put at the very top. I'm gonna go ahead and say for higher ability, I'm giving this like a seven. It's like a bit tough because of all the jargon on the site and stuff like that. And it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it is creative. Like that terminal thing was like pretty interesting to you. So I sort of like that part. Um, also for creativity, I'm gonna give it an eight for that. In terms of aesthetic, it looks like, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give aesthetic like maybe a 3.5 overall this is like a crazy like cool creative and unique experience i'm a fan i like that cool idea but like the fact that all these images are so low res kind of like detracts from it like the images here are so low res that i thought your like site was just like really low res for some reason like this is really like pixelated and like i don't know if you can see on stream but like this is like crystal clear text okay yeah this is like making yeah n not really a fan of the design here which is kind of weird because the whole emphasis is on digital design. And I think it's important to know there's a difference between design and user experience. This design, like on paper, looks great. Uh, but in terms of user experience, like I'm not having too good of a time here. Who design? Like there's grammar issues here, but also like there's no space between these two words. So it's kind of hard. If you pass this into like GPT, it'll clean up any grammatical issues up and stuff. Like the fact that this is all like stretched and stuff like that and super low res is like sort of the opposite of like good web design, I think. If I was hiring you to be a, like a web developer that had like an emphasis on creative design, this actually makes me less likely to, <laughs> to want to hire you. If you have an emphasis for web design and the UX is like sort of this hard to use, and like stuff like this is super stretched and like really 
like blurry looking. I, I personally, not to be like too harsh or anything, I would act like this would actively probably stop me from wanting to hire you. You mean it'd be better to not have a portfolio website like this than to not have one at all? Yeah. I would say like, if you just submitted your resume and you're like, I'm a web developer with an em emphasis on design, I'd be like, okay, cool. Show me some of your past works. But if you link this and I saw this and I'm like, you're supposed to have an emphasis for design yet this is like a, like a stretched like 1080 by like 500 image and it's like super stretched and it doesn't look good if i were to hire you is this like the quality i'm expecting you to have for my sites because i don't want my sites to look like this i know it's a bit harsh but hopefully that can help higher ability i'd give this like a a two or a three because it like actively makes me like not want to hire you aesthetic like also a three creativity i'll give it like a six it's creative um, it's creative, it's unique, I like that. You tried something different. There, There is a vision. There is a vision, and I can see what you're trying to go for it. Uh, it's just lacking on the execution. So hopefully that helps. Okay, I love this already. This is simple, it feels smooth, and it's like straight to the point. Oh, I really like this. I have everything I need up top. Bam, the links, where you're from. It's like you've watched my previous streams and took my notes. I love that. Dude, 15 and you made a site like this. Whoa, your GitHub is popping, dude. This looks sick. Dude, look at this. For a 15-year-old to have a contribution history like this, bro. You're killing it, my guy. You are killing it. I don't know if I like the rotating thing for the technologies you work with, just because if I'm hiring like someone that's like a TypeScript developer, like I could get unlucky. Look, there's no TypeScript here right now. So like, if I'm going to spend a second glancing at this, I'm like, huh, I don't see TypeScript. Maybe he doesn't use TypeScript. But like in reality, I just got unlucky. It didn't like actually stop on the right thing. So I don't know if this is the right place to maybe use this. Um, I do like how you added the names though. So I don't have to like sit there and fucking stare at the icons um, and try to guess what you're using. Portfolio, this is cool. Oh, dude, this is so smooth. If I click learn more, what does this take me? Oh my god, and you have a dedicated page to it and some screenshots so I don't have to like go through and scour your GitHub to see it. Uh, okay, don't have the open thing if uh, the site's down though, of course. A lot of people have this blog section on their thing and it'll be like dead and there's just nothing on there. What does this do? What does this button do? Oh, you can change the language too. Okay, that's sick. This is really well done. This is extremely well done. It's simple. It's usable. I'm a really big fan of this site, dude. Hireability, I'm like extremely impressed. This has everything I need to find you and to contact you. I wish maybe there was like an email address here. Oh, and you keep the about me stuff. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There's some stuff missing here. I thought because you were 15, you didn't have any jobs and stuff like that. But it looks like in the about, you do have like uh, some job stuff in here. I would put this stuff over here because this makes a big difference in my decision to hire you, right? Like I, I accidentally clicked on that about because I thought it would take me back to the homepage. Um, I would highly put that like above your portfolio. Work experience always goes above. This is great. I'm putting this as like an 8.5 for higher ability. In terms of aesthetic, it's exactly what I enjoy. It's like clean, straight to the point, no overbearing UI or UX or something. I'm gonna give this like an eight, maybe an eight for creativity actually, just because you put a lot of emphasis into all these extra details, your projects and stuff like that. There's like really nice animations, like all the small details are there, which I enjoy. Okay. Notifications, do you want to allow music? Okay, yes. No, 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 no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Welcome to Shinobi. Where you are as a result of who you were, but where you go depends on who you choose to be. Is this a, a person? Wait, this is the whole site? I can't scroll. There's no scroll. I thought I'd be able to scroll. I'm like beyond confused. Is this a singular person? Bro, your profile picture there is anime. This like gives me like zero insight into anything you do or who you are. Like, I don't even know if you're a web developer, if you're an app developer, if you're an anime developer. Like, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Um, yeah, having a LinkedIn profile picture also does not help your, like, this is like a one for higher ability aesthetic. Like, there, there's nothing here. I can't even rate this. There, there's nothing here. I don't know, like two, 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 maybe three for higher ability. Or for creativity? I haven't seen anyone else do this. Oh, is there a nav menu? Oh my god, there's a nav menu here. Hello? Did anyone else catch that other than know me? Okay, I hate when people... Ah, ah, ah. This gives me no information. This gives me no information about what you do. Like, oh yeah, he's a... Uh, He's three inches in front end versus you're like 10 centimeters of front end, but only two centimeters in bug fix. What does that mean? I got like, this doesn't tell me anything. Hey, yo, what in the fuck? The more I see of like sight, the more confused it makes me. Is the, is the contact page what we saw before? Okay, the contact should not be the same as the home page. Okay, what is the difference between contact and home? It's the same thing, except 
this one has a Naruto background, and this one has like the default like Pixabay background, front end or back end. All right, let's go with Sasuke, bro. Dude, it feels like you've done things. Like you have good experience. It's not like you've never done stuff before. Create it. Look, here's what I'll say. Higher ability stays at two, maybe even like a 1.5. The aesthetic gets bumped to like a 3.5 and the creativity gets bumped to like a six, okay? Because there's more there now. But like the more I look at this, the more like confused I get. This is creative and it's cool. But like, nobody is sitting here reading all this, I promise you. And yeah, the, the LinkedIn, like the anime profile picture on LinkedIn is... I Listen, bro, you can be a fan. I love anime. I'm a fan of anime. I'm a bit more old school. I love anime. You can be a fan of anime. But there are some things that you can be a, a fan of, but also don't want to like lead with when it comes to putting yourself in front of employers, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? There are things I enjoy that I wouldn't necessarily like, you know, lead with on LinkedIn, if that makes sense. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What is going on here? I'm trying to do stuff, but I think it's from... Okay, I'm going to close the sound. What the fuck? My laptop cannot handle this while also streaming. I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, I have to scroll so much to go down. Fuck. Dumb. What did that say? Dumb. Diggy dumb. Okay. I like to create digital experiences with a soul. This is like extremely creative, I'll say that. And I guess he specializes in like WebGL and like all of this related stuff. So if I were hiring someone that like I wanted to make like cool animations and like experiences on my sites, this does, uh, this is like just, a, this whole site is just like a giant flex, I think, of like WebGL skills. Higher ability. I can see the niche case where if you are like specifically trying to hire a WebGL person, this is like insanely cool. However, it's like kind of a painful experience, but I guess that maybe it's like so niche that it works. I'm gonna give it like a 6.5 for higher ability. Aesthetic, a six, maybe like a seven, and creativity, it's like a like a 9.5. It'd probably feel better if the person wasn't streaming, uh, but that was like insanely cool, not gonna lie. Oh my God, I feel like I'm on super base reversal right now. A full stack developer, passionate. <laughs> the P word again, bro. I'm gonna start a passion counter. This gives me zero information. Like, passionate developer with a knack for creating dynamic web applications, exploring cutting edge technology. Everyone says this. This gives me no unique insights into who you are as a person. I'd much rather be like, I'm Harshid, a full stack developer, maybe in like smaller text. Like, I don't know why developer specifically is highlighted here. If anything, like both of these should be highlighted. Your location and a list of some technologies you're really good at. That'd be sick. And then your links, which I like. I prefer even if instead of having a description, like a cutoff description that nobody's going to read, maybe the technologies that you're using here would be cool. Theme and the aesthetic of the site is fucking beautiful. I love this. Okay, and you have these buttons down here. Does that like... Okay, so I have to go here to get your stack? It's like kind of all over the place. Like the, the the UX and stuff like that is like really beautiful. Like I love the theme. Dude, great picture by the way. I feel like there's so much cool stuff going on here, but it's just not structured properly. Okay, it is not apparent at all that these are hotkeys. I thought this is like the amount of stuff inside of it. So when I saw experience in two, I was like, oh, he has two experiences. I think if you like just structured it a bit differently, um, it could be really amazing. I'm going to give this like creativity, like a nine aesthetic, like an 8.5 higher ability, like maybe a seven. It needs work. It's hard to like get information out of this. I find myself just like going in like a, like this random circle of like clicking on all the different stuff just to get piecemeals of information and stuff like that. Whoa. Can I click on any of these? I love what you got going on here. I wish there was like a render. It's kind of weird. The UI for this is like really cool, but the UX is like really hard. Sort of hurting my head to navigate. Like, this is like such a cool concept. This guy literally made VS code inside of a website. And it's like really fucking cool. But in terms of usability, it's like really rough. And the HTML, even though this looks like it's React, it brings you to a standard HTML page. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm nitpicking because like I'm sort of like a React purist and stuff like that. And like, it, like this doesn't make code like sense like code wise. Higher ability, it's impressive. I'll give you that. I say it's like a 7.5. It would be higher if it was actually easy to like learn more about you. Aesthetic, I'm going to give it a seven. Creativity, like a nine. The aesthetic gets a seven because it looks really cool. And it's like amazingly done, but some of this stuff just makes it like really hard to like use and read. Okay. How does this look on mobile? That's my first question. Okay. This is really fucking cool. This like auto typing. Cause like I have to sit here and like wait for what I'm looking for. I would say just have Mihai full stack developer done without the auto typing. 
you have enough going on on the screen that you don't need auto typing in like three different places. Okay, clicking view all projects doesn't do anything, so I guess it's not fully done. Email me, te Telegram. These should be icons like your LinkedIn, your email address maybe. Don't need auto typing. Don't need all this like scrolly stuff. I like the design though. Very unique. It's responsive. It's easy to read. And like it actually provides like a natural flow, like a dashboard, which I kind of kind of like. Just a bit too much going on. Like you don't need to stuff all the animations in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hireability, like this does make me more likely to hire you. Um, like actually quite a bit more likely. I'd give this an eight. It's one of the more hireable ones. Aesthetic, also like an eight and creativity an eight. It's like one of the best I think we've seen today for sure. Um, just needs a bit of work. Overall, like definitely a great site. It said you were 17, dude. That's really great. I specialize in turning innovative ideas into practical application by adapting simple. Bro, bro gave the consultant pitch. I specialize in turning innovative ideas into practical applications by aptly simplifying complex, ultimately crafting outstanding user experiences. I will mod anyone that can explain what that means. This is why nobody takes the time to read these because what did, what, what, what does that mean? Is this the flutter mascot? Okay. I'm glad I understand that like this is like related to something and he's not just a random bird. I will say this is beautiful. Can I click on these? Oh, no fucking way. I can actually click on these and play this. I just played a game of tic-tac-toe against myself and I just fucking lost. Okay, reset the game, reset the game. This is so clean. I actually really like this. This is awesome. Oh my God. And this feels like the app store. All these like, you know what I mean? All this stuff feels like what you would see like if you were on the app store looking at an app. Dude, you're sick with it, bro. Oh my God. Oh. Passionate software developer from India. Yo, I know it wasn't on his portfolio site, but we're updating the counter for that one. Hireability. I don't even know exactly what you do, and I want to hire you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a 9.5 hireability. Aesthetic is like a, a 9. There were some things I didn't like about the aesthetic. Creativity, like a 9.5 as well. I almost want to give you a 10. Have we ever given anyone a 10 for creativity? We have. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. You're getting a 10 for creativity. Dude, the fact that I was able to just click on tic-tac-toe and play tic-tac-toe in your site. That blew my mind, bro. That blew my mind. Is bro even here watching the screen? Does he even know that he's like killing it right now? I'm gonna put all of these on the screen. Cast your votes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it looks like Suga is in the lead. Bro is killing it, holy shit. All right, chat, 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 chat. The poll results, 59% of the vote. We have our boy, Sugith. All right, Clark, I will, I'll review yours, but we already did the vote for the final. So I'll just like quickly check yours out before end of the stream. We have Sugith with 58% in first place wins the stream. Second place was Mihai. I'm sorry, I do this every stream, but Sugith also gets my vote, bro. The first time I opened his site and I tried out that TikTok tic-tac-toe thing, bro, blew my mind. I will end the stream off by looking at Clark IO. Is there a... Ah, uh, bro paid $5 to Rickroll me. All right, bro, you got 